Jesus' name. Still in our series, Unveiling the Fundamentals of Success. We have looked at the force of vision. We have looked at the force of faith. The force of prayer and fasting. And today we are focusing on the force of wisdom. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Not as he entered into the heart of man. What God has prepared for them that love him. Everything God has prepared, you need wisdom to see the reality. That is why if you lack wisdom, your destiny will suffer frustration. You become a disfavored entity. No matter how glorious your destiny is, you need wisdom for it to see light. Proverbs 4 and verse 7, wisdom is the principal thing in all thy getting. Get understanding. Every issue of life Answers to the command of wisdom. That is why when wisdom is at work, the relevant wisdom, the needed wisdom, you can never be stranded in life. You can never be frustrated in life. You can never be sidelined in the journey of destiny. But amazingly, people take the issue of prayer more serious than the issue of wisdom. If you lack wisdom, you can't go far. You can't get to where good things are happening. Why? It takes wisdom to reach there. God's book or the word of God is the bank of divine wisdom. The bank of divine wisdom. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein to observe and to do all that is written. He said, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success. So your level and measure of success is defined by the wisdom of God that is at work in you. If there is anything wisdom will do for us, is to realign our mentality in line with God's plan and purpose for our life. It realigns, it reshapes, it rebrands. Because the limits of every man's destiny is defined by his mentality. Your destiny is not limited by who is angry with you, or who is frowning with you, or who doesn't like your face, but your mentality. As a man thinketh in his heart, not as people wish you. Anybody is free to wish anything. But your mentality 
defines the limits of your destiny. So if your mentality defines the limits of your destiny, then you must do something to get your mentality activated. To get your mentality activated. To get your mentality insightful. To get your mentality illuminated. To get your mentality more creative. No wonder. Wisdom is the bank. Say with me, bank. Is the custodian. Is the treasure house of any life that we see light. You may be low today, on the floor today, but when wisdom begins to gain access into your life, you are catapulted to the top. Hear me? In the journey of life, men are rated by wisdom, not by prayer. Men are rated by wisdom. If you must go well, look for wisdom. If you must end well, look for wisdom. If this must work well for you, go for wisdom. If there was anything that Joseph carried while going through what he was going through, wisdom. From where comes these mighty works concerning Jesus? From where comes these mighty works? And the people themselves, they use their mouth to say it. What wisdom is this? There is a difference between success and good success. What makes for good success is growing wisdom. If you are not growing in wisdom, you are not truly growing. You are not truly growing. Every child of God has the right to demand from God the wisdom that will cause him to stand out. The wisdom that will cause you to excel. The wisdom that will guarantee progress in your life. No one that scripture says, let him that lack wisdom ask. For God will give unto him unbreadedly. So no matter what you are doing, in business, in career, in your family, in your work with men, you need wisdom. You need wisdom. And one of the vital things that wisdom will do for you is to release on you what we call inspiration and creativity. Inspiration is the capital base of any man that will walk in wisdom. Scripture said there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty showeth him what to do. Wisdom is not what we copy in notes. Wisdom is what we do. The inspiration of the almighty showeth him what to do. When this wisdom is at work, when others are saying there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. People that walk by divine wisdom and divine inspiration, they are never, never stagnated. They are never. Others may be stagnated. They are on the motion. They are on course, going forward, making progress. 
before something is getting exhausted, the next idea on what next to do is strike. Wisdom is what opens the floodgates of ideas to you. You are never, never stranded in any city. Others may be thinking of what to do. You, you know what next to do. Why? The wisdom of God. What will you have me give to you? God asked him Solomon. He didn't ask him, give me power. He said, give me wisdom. Say to your neighbor, give me wisdom. He demanded for wisdom. And God said, is that the only thing you are asking for? It's okay. Apart from this, I will add this to you. 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 Lovers of wisdom. <laughs> In Proverbs chapter 8, he said, I cause them that love me to inherit substance. He said, God possessed me at the beginning of creation. When he called, before he called forth for the deep, I was there with him. People that carry wisdom, they know what next to do that others are thinking how to get it done. There are four kinds of wisdom. Earthly wisdom, sensual wisdom, devilish wisdom, and godly wisdom. Earthly wisdom only gives you common sense. And common sense is really common. Even a madman has common sense. Are you hearing me now? Do you agree? Somebody say no. I say, do you agree that a madman has common sense? Carry cane now that you want to flog a madman, he will run. What is telling him to run? Common sense. We also have sensual wisdom. That's the reason why you go to school. To have what we call intellectual wisdom. But I want to let you know, intellectual wisdom does not give you an edge in life. It only gives you a chance. Tell your neighbor a chance. Gives you a chance to succeed. That's why you may have a first class and not have the wisdom to deal with life matters. To deal with life issues. That's the kind that a one man of God called first class Mumu. He's a first class on paper. Not a first class in dealing with life matters. After dealing with that one, you need wisdom to deal with life matters. We also have what we call devilish wisdom. Occultic, manipulating, all manner of craft. When someone is perpetrating wickedness, is operating by devilish wisdom. When someone is perpetrating blackmail, seeking how someone will be reproached, how someone will fall down, is perpetrating devilish wisdom. Satan has engulfed his brain. His brain is enjoying what we call demonic virus. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Because the only thing he's thinking night and day is how he, will, how he will wound somebody, how somebody will fail, how somebody will be disgraced. And you know they always have company. Scripture says, He that walks with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fools shall be what? Somebody can be telling you sweet, sweet things does not mean that he's wise. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It's not wise. Wisdom is justified by her fruits. If you are wise, people want to see your works. And we also have godly wisdom or divine wisdom. This one is superior to every other form of wisdom. 
this is the wisdom that cometh from above. In Deuteronomy chapter 34, I think, am I correct? 34 verse 9. And Joshua was filled with the spirit of wisdom because Moses. 34 verse 9. And Joshua the son of Noah was filled full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses had laid his hand on him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. And Joshua was filled with the spirit of wisdom. That's what we call the impartation of the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of creativity. The spirit of on time. The spirit of insight. The spirit to know what next to do when you are confronted on issues. Why didn't Joshua fast to get it? That goes to let us know that the wisdom we need for our triumph, there are people God will send our way to impact it to us. There are people God will send our way to impart it to us. Permit me to say now, everyone you see on planet Earth today is operating one form of wisdom or the other. One form of wisdom or the other. That's why who you come in contact with, you either learn his foolishness or you learn his wisdom. Whoever you come in contact with, you either learn the person's foolishness or you learn the person's wisdom. Association is impartation. When you are working with the wrong people, you are imparted with their foolish. Foolish what? Complete it. No wonder Dr. Paul Leninger said, who you work with determine the quality of wisdom that will be reflective in you. Who you work with. Who you listen to part, listen to part time will determine the kind of wisdom that you will manifest. No wonder scripture said, take heed to what you hear. Joshua has been following Moses quietly. He's not among the 70 elders. But God knew that this man is the one that will carry the wisdom of Moses ahead after now. So he imparted on him the transference of divine wisdom. So if you want to flourish in life, you need constantly the impartation of divine wisdom. Because where that impartation brings you, those are the things. You begin to see new things take place around you. If you secure another impartation, you go up higher, higher and higher and higher and higher. You can't truly go far in life without constant impartation of wisdom. Divine wisdom guarantees what we call supernatural creativity. Say with me, supernatural creativity. And what is creativity? Creativity simply means to initiate, to start something new. Creativity means to rebrand. Creativity means to repackage. Creativity means to redesign. Creativity means to bring something out in a more better way. Hear this? We are heirs of Christ and co-creator with God. No wonder God said, and God blessed them, be fruitful and multiply, replenish. Did you hear what I said? replenished yet. 
replenish the earth. Meaning, nothing is permitted to finish in your hand. Before one is finishing, you create another one. And the earth has been going through series of creativity. Am I saying something to someone? Creativity. Creativity. Creativity is just taking place. The shoe you are wearing now is creativity. The clothes you are wearing now is creativity. I might say something to someone. There's something I paid for. I'm here to collect it. I paid $4,000 for a set of six. If I put that in on my armband now, and my son is wearing his own in school, if he's not feeling well, all he just needs to do is to tap a button on that thing. I will catch the signal. Here I am. It's not a telephone call. All he just needs to do is to tap it. The moment he taps it, the thing has been coded. It's not working with blood. So that it won't ignite his blood. It's not working with blood. It has been coded. It sends signal. The moment I pick that signal, all I just need to do, please, I want to talk to Jesse. What is happening to my son? They will be wondering, ah, is anything wrong? No, I want to talk to him. I don't need to explain to them, I've gotten the signal. He has given me the signal. Something is wrong. Technology is the brainchild of creativity. I might say something to someone. How do you imagine that you will just hold phone and be talking to your mother in the village? Did you ever stay to imagine it? That you will just be talking to your mother in the village? How come? How come? I'm just talking to my mother in the village. Say with me, creativity. Divine wisdom gives us the capacity to build our destiny. That is why <laughs> Proverbs chapter 24 let's take it from verse 4 no take it from verse 3 sorry wisdom is a house builded and by understanding it is established and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Look at verse 5 now. A wise man is strong. Yea, a man of knowledge increaseth strength. True wisdom is a house builded. We are you are a spiritual house. If you don't build your house, you will lack riches. You need wisdom to build your house spiritually. You also need your wisdom to build your house physically. Likewise, a wise woman keepeth her house, but a foolish one scattereth it with her hands. A wise woman keepeth her house. A wise woman doesn't only keep her house, she also keep her mouth. There are wives that are champion talkers. And David behaved himself wisely before the king. In your behavior, wisdom will show. Whether you are behaving wisely or behaving foolishly, everything will show. And you know, funny enough, wisdom is the binding wire of character. Wisdom is the binding wire of what? 
character. When you lack character, you don't need prayer to keep it. It will jump out. The cheapest way to suffer disfavor is to misbehave before people that will favor you. Just misbehave. Just exhibit foolishness. You want to succeed? Success is not by muscle, it's by wisdom. So if you must walk in wisdom, unconditionally you must subscribe to obedience to the word of God. My son, pay attention to my word. Incline their ears unto my saying. Verse 21. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. 22. For they are life unto those that find them. And help to all their flesh. Verse 23 now. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Divine wisdom has the capacity to dismantle difficulties and controversies. When you have issues with people, how do you respond? You need wisdom to handle matters. In 1 Kings chapter 3, Verse 24 down to verse 28. Two women were dragging a child. This one says it's my own. This one says it's my own. The king was almost confused. He didn't need to say, Father Lord, who is the owner? It's not Apostle Suleiman that says, who, who is uh, Angelina? Angelina is the owner of the child. Do you know the wisdom he used? Bring a knife. Slash the children, slash the child into two equal parts. As they brought the knife and as they were about to slash the child, the real owner of the child shouted, No, don't kill my child! The other one just kept quiet. If you were there, who would you say is the owner? He didn't need to say, Who is Angelina? Angelina is the owner of the child. He just used one simple wisdom. And the re owner emerged. Wisdom dissolved doubts. <laughs> According to scripture, <laughs> by the wisdom of God, Daniel was able to dissolve hard sentences, hard issues. You need wisdom to diffuse problems. No wonder wisdom answers all things. How many things? So when wisdom is at work in you, you are never trapped by situation. Why? Because by the wisdom of God, a new way will be charted for you. You never get stranded by issues. Do you know when wisdom is at work, you don't have confrontation with people. You know how to get yourself out. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Don't say this man is difficult. This woman is difficult. If it's difficult, wisdom is there. You go your way. When wisdom is at work, you choose your battles. You don't dissipate energy on unnecessary matters. It's because of lack of wisdom you are putting your head in everything you see. Wisdom makes you a strategic fighter. You know when to strike, you know when to withdraw. So when wisdom is at work, you know when to go forward, you know, no retreat. Keep quiet. Even a fool, when he keeps quiet, is regarded as a wise man. When will you be wise? If there is anything that makes a wise man a wise man, scripture says the wise man guided his affair with discretion. 
if there is anything people are missing in the church now, is discretion. What is discretion? Reasoning with facts. Is this thing right? If you say it's right, can we call the person to prove it? Mumu, they will just put their head. Anything they hear, they put their head. It's a sign you lack discretion. When a wise man hears a matter, it may sound sweet. You know, there are matters that are presented, you will feel like licking it. Am I saying the truth? There are some matters that are presented, you will just feel like, let me just go there and fight this thing. Could I tell your neighbor, could I? Hear the other side. Concerning Jesus in Isaiah chapter 11. He said, he shall not judge according to the sayings of men. He shall not judge according to the sayings of men. No wonder when people are looking for how their matters will be solved, they go to look for wise people. They go to look for wise people. So when, you, when wisdom is at work, you dissolve difficult matters. Why is wisdom necessary as we round up now? Wisdom is profitable for direction. Profitable for direction. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 10. Profitable for direction. Why direction? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Wherever God directs, that's where I put it now. If the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge, then must he put to more strength. But wisdom is profitable to what? Direct. There is a way that cement right unto a man, but the end thereof is what? Destruction. Wisdom is profitable to direct. In relationship, wisdom is profitable to direct. In business, wisdom is profitable to direct. Don't just fall in love. Use wisdom. I love him. I have feeling for him. Don't worry, go feel something very soon. <laughs> my pastor, one of my mentors said, love is blind, but marriage go open your eye. <laughs> Abby, love is blind, Abby. Marriage go open your eye. That blindness will make you enter. When you enter, the eye go open. Am I saying the truth? <laughs> wisdom. Tell your neighbor wisdom. wisdom. Don't enter into a relationship with your senses suspended. God gave you brain. You don't have foul brain. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? There are some things you don't need, you don't need to say, Lord, what are you saying? You'll be seeing signs line by line. If it will go well, you'll be seeing signs. All the signs you are waiting to see in prayer, the Holy Ghost has already shown you all of them. My grief is, I say, go change in the future. You know, go change. Lie, lie. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? That's why they call it dating. The reason for the dating is so that you can check. Is this thing worth it? Does it worth the stake? So that you don't enter like a mumu and behave. You know, they say when someone will be giving you a recharge card, your head will be confused. Just recharge card. Recharge card. I think I'm talking to somebody now. <laughs> eh? You are not seeing anything because you are sure that a recharge card must come. See, if you can give me a recharge card, you can buy me a car. <laughs> I would like to know your papa's name. <laughs> that one they slaughtered in Lagos. What did they give to her? There's another one they slaughtered in uh, Delta recently. Oh.
I will say it again. If you like, get angry. If they pain you, may pain you where? Any relationship you enter that you cannot say, Father, Lord, show me who this person is. You have not started. Do you know why you cannot pray that prayer? Because you don't they sleep with you. Yes! That's why you cannot pray it. You don't sleep with you. So you are not afraid. If you talk, go, go, hammer you. Go! Oh! But if you have given him condition, don't touch me until we marry. You, you have the boldness, Lord, show me who this person is. Reveal this man to me. Is this the person you have ordained me to stake my life for destiny? Some people, they can't pray that prayer. They can never. Do you know why? Touch him, but no greet them. I'm talking about the direction you are laughing. <laughs> May the Lord deliver your sisters. Please remind me, I'm going to hold a teaching for all marriageable sisters and brothers. Any brother that is already doing touching body, now, I bet you, you are not the only candidate. Because after touching you, we touch somebody else. Write it down, I said so. Because the one is touching you is not enough. He has started touching you before the marriage. So after the marriage, he will touch another person. May the Lord deliver you. Amen. Why is wisdom necessary? Lack of discretion will lead to confusion. People that lack discretion, they lack priority. First things first. First things first. People that lack discretion, they have abundance of confusion. What does it mean to have discretion? You are a brother, you are in church, you say you want to marry, you never get job. You know, go get job first. It's a sign you lack discretion. And the Mumu sister will be saying, I have faith, I have faith. Which kind of faith? I don't understand this faith. Oh. Eh? Discretion means get job before you think of marry. Not marry before you get job. Any marriage that is sponsored by friends will be detected by friends. Somebody say an amen. <laughs> You never get a job. You don't need to propose to sister. You are a big fool. Do you know why I say you are a big fool? You will be living a life of deception. Everything you will be doing, you will be doing to impress the sister. Lie, lie. You are not here to impress anybody. Maturing to what you are talking about. Any little money that enter your hand, you go and deposit it so that she will not run away. So she, she's not a central bank. You are not doing everything to please her. And the sister will say, why didn't you give me the church card the other day? <laughs> May the Lord deliver this evil. Somebody say, good amen. Lack of discretion. You can't even take care of your relations, your younger ones. You already send them money. Hey! They don't buy your brain. May the Lord deliver your papa. Why is wisdom necessary? Lack of wisdom equals lack of progress. Lack of wisdom equals lack of progress. What is wisdom? Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do and doing it. If you are not doing the right thing, how will you be making the right progress? Every time is only wrong, wrong thing, wrong, wrong thing. Wrong, wrong motive, wrong, wrong direction. How can you make progress? Lack of wisdom equals lack of progress. Should I, should I provoke someone here? From January to date, 
Measure your progress. Measure your progress. What has come to pass? What have you accomplished? What have you succeeded in doing, in accomplishing? That will let you know, am I making progress? Or am I living in deception? Am I walking in foolishness? You say, uh, the money I'm looking for, I'm not in hand. But money has been entering your hand from January till now. Measure your progress. You will now know whether you are walking in wisdom or you are walking in foolishness. If you lack wisdom, you will lack progress. Do you know some people? It is after the money that entered their hand has finished. That's when their head will be correct. They will not cry. Where does money go? <laughs> winch has collected this money. There is no winch. You are the winch. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Hey, where to? Where does money go? <laughs> Praise God. Somebody is angry with me. Don't be angry. Yeah, that's why I'm your pastor. <laughs> Lack of wisdom equals wastage of time and resources. Teach me to number my days aright. That I will apply my heart unto wisdom. Teach me to number my days. Teach me to number my days. Teach me to number my days. Hear me? If you are in secondary school, you have how many years? Six years. If you stay beyond six years and your juniors come with you first time, come with you second time, daddy, transform me to another school. Teach me to number my days aright. There are 50 year old boys and 30 year old men. If you waste your time, you waste your life. Lack of wisdom equals lack equals abundance of frustration. No wonder. People that lack wisdom, they are frustrated the more. They suffer more frustration. We take this and we rise up now. One product of wisdom. It attracts people and blessings to you. One product of wisdom, it attracts people, it attracts blessings, it attracts opportunity, it attracts ideas, it attracts inspiration. So when wisdom is at work, you become a good attractor. You attract good things, good people, relevant people. Not just anyhow people. Relevant people. People that matter to your fulfillment. People that matter to your accomplishments. That's why growing in wisdom is not optional. It's a must. You must keep growing. You must keep growing until you reach where God has in mind for you. Rise up to your feet. We are going to pray. Scripture says, as Jesus gave them the communion, their eyes were open. Open thou my eyes, O Lord, that I will behold wondrous things out of thy law. You can't lack wisdom when you have an opportunity to partake of the communion. Anytime you are privileged to partake of the communion, one thing that must strike you is the rays of divine ideas. Rays of divine inspiration. We are going to pray, Lord, open my eyes of understanding. As I partake of this communion, what next to do? Open my eyes of understanding. What next step to take? Open my eyes of understanding. The ideas that will bring me out of shame, out of reproach, out of lack, release upon me divine understanding. Lift up your voice and talk to God right now. Lord, as I partake of this communion, open my eyes of understanding. 
show me what to do the next step to take show me what to do 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 the next step to take show me what to do in jesus name we have prayed lord as we partake of this communion open our eyes of understanding the unlimited success you have prepared for us this year by divine inspiration give us access to the desired results if you are saying amen say it better amen by divine wisdom open uncommon doors for us in jesus name we pray so shall it be in jesus name